Alexa, start my day. Currently, it's six degrees Celsius with cloudy skies. Here are the calendar events. This is Subnet from Relay FM, and these are three technology stories you need to know. Twitter announced on Wednesday that it has added more granularity to its spam reporting tools. I will go see the Lieutenant Governor at her earliest convenience to inform her. This year, I decided to start getting more into home automation, and it can be kind of daunting at first. So for this video, I'm working with Amazon to go through some of the basics that you're gonna to need to know to get started setting up your smart home. We'll start off simple, and then we'll work towards a handy morning routine, which combines a bunch of different devices all working together. But you don't have to buy all these things at once. Everything works pretty much independently, so you can dip your toes in with just a couple of lights or power outlets, or in our case, we're gonna start with an Amazon Echo Show. Echo devices can function as a sort of central command center that all of our other smart devices will tie into. The show has all the features of a standard Echo voice device, but also has a screen so that it can display information, make video calls, or play video. You'll start by setting up your Echo somewhere central and get it on Wi-Fi. All your devices need to talk to each other by being logged into the same network, and some devices will need their own direct access to your router. So for example, in our setup, we're gonna be using a Samsung SmartThings Wi-Fi, which can also be used as a mesh Wi-Fi network for your home, and the Philips Hue light bridge, which all of our light bulbs will connect to. We'll just plug those in for now, and then we'll put them to use later. If you haven't played with an Echo device before, it has a lot of tricks built in right out of the box. Alexa, set a timer for 15 minutes. Alexa, sing a barbershop quartet. Without the Wi-Fi, I couldn't say hi. As for music, I couldn't choose it. Alexa, play the podcast Cortex. It would be an interesting episode, it that's sure for sure. Would. You're going to want to download the Alexa app and log in to all of your services. So when I ask for music, it plays from my Amazon Music or Spotify, and I can ask it to call people in my contact list ask for traffic reports on your way to work, or get all of the details from my calendar. Or with the Echo Show, I can ask it to play TV shows from Amazon Prime, Hulu, or other services. Alexa, play Parks and Recreation. Uh, I want to see a cool Alexa, play my classical music mix. Cool, our Echo is all set up and customized. Now let's add another one. I've also got the Echo Spot set up as a little bedside alarm clock and assistant. It can do just about anything that the Echo Show can do, but it's in a smaller, cuter package. It can also make calls to your other Echo devices, or for close family, you can just drop in on them with a video call. As long as you log in with the same Amazon account, all of these devices will be linked together in your Alexa app, and you'll start getting a sense of how your smart home will be connected. By the way, as you set up all of your devices, you're gonna end up installing a few different apps, so it's a good idea to start organizing them all into a smart home folder. And if you're using Android, you can add an Alexa widget so you can access the assistant at any time. And now we're ready for our next setup. Let's add some lights. We have the Philips Hue bridge plugged into our router, so we can start plugging in all sorts of Hue bulbs around the house. As you install them around your home, you also wanna make sure that you're naming them inside of the app. Use names that make sense and that you can remember or that your house guests might even be able to guess. If your names aren't clear, it's gonna get confusing down the road. If you've got traditional lights that can't fit smart bulbs, you can use plugs to turn them on and off. And if you're using it for a light, be sure to change the device type from plug to light in the Alexa app. This will let you use more intuitive voice commands for turning things on and off. So for example, if you say, Alexa, turn on all the lights, it knows it's a lamp and not a fan or something. We're also gonna be using a plug to turn on our kettle in the morning. So I'm using a Samsung SmartThings plug, which goes with our SmartThings Wi-Fi hub. They have a whole line of different triggers or sensors that can all work great together. And they got motion detectors and door sensors and security cameras, so if your kid breaks into the safe, you can get notified. You can really just keep going deeper with this stuff. It all works together and it's all straightforward to set up. Like a smart thermostat to manage the temperature throughout your home. The Eco B4 has Alexa built right into it, so you have a few more microphones to pick up your commands. It has a remote sensor to monitor different rooms, and gives you a simple way to change the temperature through any of the other assistant devices throughout your home. As you add all of these devices, one of the main ways of managing them is by sorting them into groups or rooms in the Alexa app. Once everything's in a group, you can use commands like, Alexa, turn on all the lights in the bedroom, which ends up being the way that I structure my voice commands most often. Now let's create a routine. We're gonna slide over to the left of the app and select routines. And we're gonna create a new routine that we'll call start my day. This is early in the morning, so first I'm gonna make sure the Echo's volume is set to a reasonable level. 
Then let's have Alexa give us a little morning greeting. And then we're going to turn on the lights to help us wake up. These Hue light bulbs have a really nice gentle fade when they turn on. And with the Hue app, you can also adjust the color, the brightness, depending on how quickly you feel like waking up. Next, I want to turn on the kettle so that it's boiled by the time I want to make coffee. And don't forget to add water and turn on the kettle switch the night before. Then I want to hear the weather and what I have coming up in my calendar for that day. After that, I'll have it read me my flash briefing, and these can use any number of different sources. So I like to get my tech news from Subnet on Relay FM, and then my general news from CBC. But you can choose from any number of media outlets to help get your day started. There are so many combinations, like you could set up home security for when you leave the house, or set up an ultimate home entertainment rig. Let's create one more routine. At the end of the night, I'm gonna say, Alexa, bedtime. Then it's gonna turn down the speaker volume, turn off all the lights in each room, and say goodnight. Mm -hmm.